Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back. Another day, another video, another day in this hobby of ours. Hope everyone is enjoying the new year. I know I'm trying to. Uh, trying to get some retail for you guys. It is extremely hard, as you all know, probably. I just think there's a, a huge influx of people still joining the hobby, uh, reaping the benefits of this crazy, crazy market that we currently have in the hobby so with that being said you guys i got a pretty interesting video for you guys today uh we're not gonna be ripping anything uh but it should be pretty interesting so stick around uh before we get to it if you can subscribe to the channel for me please i would really appreciate that hoping to grow the channel uh much more in 2021 it hasn't been quite a year yet since i've made the channel i made it back in april of 2020 and we are at 137 subscribers, so uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, and uh, hopefully I can continue making these videos for you guys, so really enjoy it, and trying to keep the hobby fun for us, so um, we got Zion Williams joining us today, guys, uh, first overall pick, we all knew, and I actually found this card in one of my boxes, I forgot I pulled this, it's out of the Court Kings from this past year. And it is 178 out of 179. So, boom. Sweet card. Can't believe I uh, over overlooked that somehow. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Definitely going in another location. So, anyway. Uh, getting to the video for you guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, five players here. So, I'm a big, like, where are they now kind of guy. I like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is about it, but... Just knowing, like, uh, what happened to, like, former NBA players or, like, NBA players that, like, were big at one point and fell off the map. It's interesting to me for whatever reason. So, uh, we're going to be talking about five players from uh, this past draft, uh, all second rounders, uh, and seeing where they're at, what they're doing, and what their career's path is looking like, so on and so forth. Uh, we've all passed by many of these guys in our searches for the Jaws and the Zions and the Kobe Whites, the so on and so forth. So uh, these are going to be some familiar names, uh, but uh, names of all guys that we've kind of passed over. So let's find out what's going on. We have Carson Edwards as our first player that we're going to be talking about today, guys. Uh, still on the Boston Celtics. Uh, whether or not he's going to be a Boston Celtic uh, for his entire career is unbeknownst to me. Uh, Edwards was taken with the 33rd pick overall in last year's draft. Uh, he's listed as a shooting guard for whatever reason, but he's only 5'11", so I'm pretty sure he is a sh uh, point guard uh, for sure. Uh, but there's really not much to say about Carson. I spent a lot of time in the G League last year. And there's really, I mean, there's not a lot of, a lot, not a lot of space for him on this roster. He's currently fourth overall on their depth chart. Uh, I mean, they're, the Boston Celtics are just loaded at that point guard position with Kemba Walker and Jeff Teague, and even the new guy uh, Peyton Pritchard sh is showing some promise. So I just don't think uh, we're gonna see a lot of Carson Edwards at all on the Boston Celtics, and I'm, I'm really uncertain if. He's going to really stick around the league, to be perfectly honest with you. And to be even more honest, I don't think we'd even really be seeing him on the court uh, if it wasn't for the coronavirus uh, that's obviously still going on. So um, currently averages three points per game, around seven minutes per game-ish. Uh, but he's just not... Uh, not really looking like uh, some sort of steal, quote unquote, uh, that the Boston Celtics are kind of known for. So, um, still in the league, barely, but he, Carson Edwards is definitely still around. So, there goes number one. Moving on to number two, guys. All right, guys, next up, we're going to be talking about Terrence Mann, uh, drafted by the Clippers with the 48th uh, pick overall, second round last year's draft. Uh, saw him play in the bubble, and uh, I honestly I like what what I saw from this guy. Um, I I remember he scored the twenty five points against like the Thunder or something like that in the bubble, and 
definitely a solid prospect. I think what's wrong with this guy is that he's unfortunately behind uh, Paul George and like Lou Williams on the depth chart, so there's really not a lot of minutes to go around for him at that shooting guard spot, which is what he's listed at. Um, but he's six foot five, can shoot the ball, very versatile and athletic type of guy. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what the issue is. Uh, as of right now, he's only averaging like two minutes a game or something like that. And uh, just like one and a half points per game. So there's really, uh, like I said, I, I think he's just a victim to unfortunately having both Lou Williams and Paul George at his position uh, on the, that Clippers team. So uh, unfortunately, they're going to be on that team for probably quite a while. I mean, Paul George just signed that extension. So I, I don't know if Terrence Mann will be be a clipper for his entire career seems like it could be some trade bait if they need to um but i definitely think that he's going to be a guy that can actually become something in the league uh has some playmaking ability also so he's definitely a valuable asset to to someone's team i just don't know if it's the clippers so terrence Mann, boom next up all right guys next up we have uh, our boy nicholas claxton uh who believe it or not is still on the brooklyn nets after that uh, James Harden trade the other day. So uh, with DeAndre Jordan leaving in that trade, Nicholas Claxton is going to be pretty much Brooklyn's uh, starting center, I believe. So uh, ha we haven't seen much of him uh, in the NBA. I uh, played a lot in the G League, um, but watched a few of his highlights and seems like kind of a newer age big man can dribble the ball, run the court. Uh, definitely, definitely a solid defender and um can score around the basket so i think that this trade for harden is going to be beneficial for nicholas claxton now whether or not he's going to see a lot of touches on the ball as far as uh him like uh getting like an offense ran through him we could almost count that out of the equation uh with harden irving and kd all on that team so i think we're going to be seeing a lot of putbacks a lot of rebounds uh and a lot of uh defense uh for claxton at least in the beginning uh, he is still young, obviously, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what he brings to the Brooklyn Nets. So shouldn't be too long before we see him. And like I said, versatile, versatile guy. And I also believe that uh, he'll probably be in the league for a while, assuming that he can stay healthy. He just got done, uh, I believe, with like some knee issues or something like that. So, all right, guys, moving on. Next guy. All right, guys, next up on the list, we're going to be talking about Cody Martin. Drafted 36 by the Charlotte Hornets last year. Still plays for them. Uh, plays small forward uh, behind uh, Gordon Hayward, who firmly has that position on lockdown for the team. And that's really all, all there is to say about Cody Martin. Uh, he's not really that great of a, a player, at least not as of right now. I, I don't really foresee him... Uh, sticking around in the league too long. Uh, he was drafted uh, last year. He was already 24 years old. He's 25 right now. So uh, definitely a a older guy to be getting drafted uh, at that age. Uh, so there's really not a lot of time for him to improve, unfortunately, for him. So uh, he's still sticking around in the league. He's on that rookie contract. Uh, but... Charlotte has a lot of young players, uh, and I I don't think Cody Martin is going to be uh, in the league for very long, let alone on the Charlotte Hornets after that rookie contract is up. Could be wrong, but that's just my prediction. Uh, a fun fact is that his brother also plays on the team, which I did not know, uh, and is actually behind Cody Martin on that depth chart down there in Charlotte. So, yep, there we go. Cody Martin, guys. Um, where are they now? So next up on the list, we have Admiral Schofield. Uh, and he is actually uh, no longer in the league. He was waived the other day, I want to say, maybe a week ago uh, by the Washington Wizards. Uh, so selected. All right, and number five, guys, is going to be Admiral Schofield. Uh, for the Washington Wizards. So he actually no longer plays for the Washington Wizards. He was drafted 42nd overall by them in last year's draft. Uh, played a lot in the G League. 
didn't really see a lot of minutes from him at all uh, in the actual uh, NBA. NBA um, only averaged about 11 minutes per game uh, at three points per game. So kind of a crowded roster for him over there in Washington. Bradley Beal's running the show now. And uh, he was actually traded on this year's draft night uh, with TJ Leaf and the Cassius Winston trade. Uh, so uh, he was traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. He was waived, uh, and he is no longer in the NBA. He was selected first overall in the G League draft this year, uh, ironically by the Charlotte Hornets, the G League affiliate, uh, since we just got ta- done talking about Cody Martin. Um, we'll probably see... A- a lot of him in the G League, uh, for sure. Uh, hopefully, he can develop, and maybe he'll he'll be back in the NBA uh, as a a ten day signing or maybe a two way contract player or something like that. Um, but as of right now, uh, we won't be seeing any Admiral Schofield anytime soon. And if he, I doubt that we'll see him on that Charlotte Hornets roster, as they do have a pretty. Uh, pretty big log jam when it comes to minutes at the guard position with uh, Malik Monk and Terry Rozier. So, Admiral Schofield, uh, it was good seeing you, man, but uh, hopefully uh, yeah, you do your thing down in the G League and you can get back in the NBA. All right, guys, that is it. Just a quick video about five players uh, from last year's draft and... Uh, All second rounders, obviously, not any big names or anything like that, Um, but just kind of aware are they now and how their career is going. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, If you guys want me to do another one, maybe we can make this like another uh, a series of some sort. There's a lot of guys, obviously, in that draft uh, that uh, you probably are wondering what is going on with them, like Goga Batita, for that matter. Uh, He plays on Golden State, but I don't know what he's doing over there to be honest with you so um if you guys are interested in me talking about maybe five more guys let me know in the comments uh but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully i can get some retail for you guys next time around we can do some ripping so thank you for watching guys thanks for the support and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy